All right, guys, it's uh, oil change time again. Uh, this video is by request, and I actually have one oil change video out, but this one's different because this is uh, a full oil change with uh, filters and everything. So I change my oil around uh, a thousand miles. I don't do full changes every thousand miles, meaning that I don't do oil filters every thousand miles. I do oil filters every other change. So. I do filters every 2,000 miles. I just clean the screens. Um, coming from a motocross background, this still seems like a long time after I ride the bike hard. Um, the oil's typically pretty dirty. There's a lot of clutch material in there, and I like to get fresh oil in there to cycle that through the engine. So I, I change it pretty frequently. This uh, interval is uh, 1,700 miles. And the reason um, I did it, I waited longer this time is because the first thousand miles were on the street. Um, and so I, I wasn't really too worried about it. But uh, I've done, yeah, like four oil changes on this bike and it's at 3,700 miles now. So <laughs> that's um, just trying to, trying to keep the engine fresh. So I will show you the, the process and where the filters are and um, and cleaning the screens. Okay, so first things first, uh, these are the two uh, holes on the left side of the bike. And this is the main drain plug, and this is the first oil filter screen. I just finished riding, so the engine is hot, um, slightly cooled down from hot, I should say. And I pre loosened these so that I wouldn't have to futz with the camera and, and all that. So what I like to do is I actually like to put pressure against the bolt so that uh, I can just pull it away real quick and it doesn't drop down into the bucket of oil. Just like that. Careful, the oil can be extremely hot. And you can see, or maybe you can't see, how dirty my oil is. Uh, that's only 1,700 miles and this stuff is basically black and nasty. Uh, the drain plug has a little bit of material on it and that's why I don't wait a long time to do oil changes. It's, uh, it's only about 25 bucks if you use the fully synthetic oil in this thing and so it's just flat out not worth it. It's it just saves your engine. I, I don't know. I mean if you're really, really, really on a budget, I guess, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do, but I'm into servicing my engine more than the manual actually says, because I want it to run good and I want it to run for a long time. So now that we've got that one removed and it pretty much drained most of the 1.7 quarts, uh, we will take this one off. This is the screen, so it takes a little more effort to remove. So now I'm going to show you the screen. You see the, the metal bits and stuff that the screen stops? So, <laughs> oops, sorry, I think I was off camera there. Uh, so why not change your oil? Just do it, man. Be like Nike. Just do it. Still on the left side of the bike, this is right under the exhaust header, um, air, oil filter number one. Once again, I've already pre-loosened this. And these are just uh, sealed with O-rings. There's no gasket. Don't always have to replace O-rings, but I've got them, so I'm going to. My engine is still hot, so careful not to burn yourself. It's cool enough that my header's not hot. Sometimes these pop right off, sometimes they don't. I got a little piece of wood here, I'm just gonna give it a tap. Make sure that you have your oil pan underneath. <laughs> 
So these can be a bit of a bugger to take out sometimes. So I'm gonna use this little piece of safety wire fashioned like a hook and it's gonna go inside here and uh, hook the lip so I can pull it out. There's my uh, OEM soiled KTM filter. I am putting an OEM filter back in. So now we're onto the right side of the bike. I've already uh, broke these free so that they're easier to do for the camera. This is the uh, lower screen. I moved my oil pan. And it's gonna be careful because this is, this is a little hot. And once again, probably can't see if I can get in the camera here. There are a few metal shavings on that screen as well. So it's doing its job. And now we come up to the other oil filter, which is right here. I'm gonna use my little tool for this too. So I don't have to touch the hot filter. I always wash my bikes after oil changes. <laughs> so this is the short filter. I'm actually gonna lean the bike over to get the oil out of the housing here too. I can definitely see some metal flake in it. Likely clutch plate. So once again, I'm using OEM ATM filters and I have a brand new o-ring for the oil filter cover once again maybe not necessary but since I have them I'm gonna do it just uh, pick the original o-ring off and it definitely looks like it's in good condition but I have a new one so why not that back on there and got my new filter which I'm gonna match up make sure the part numbers are exactly the same as the old one this one actually came out part number out so I'm gonna put it back in the same way got it in it's nice and sealed back on, snap the o-ring in place, these don't need to be a million pounds, they're only M6 bolts, so just give them a nice little snug. So I've got my filter screens cleaned up. And I didn't show you that process, but basically just use a, a good contact cleaner. I've always used the Maxima stuff in the past, generally. And just a good uh, contact brake cleaner, spray them out. The pressure will uh, blow all the um, metal shavings and things out of there. Okay, I'm gonna install the right side screen. Um, I've got the plug all cleaned up. Well, the shavings, looks like clutch plate or something, likes to kind of congregate in the bottom of this so make sure you give it a good cleaning and then uh, take one of your screens and they have little o-rings on them and as far as I can tell they're uh, 
completely universal in their direction. And just slide it in like that. And then we're gonna plug it back in the hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and button this one down too so that the whole right side of the bike is complete. Once again, you don't wanna break anything, so just give it a little snug. They always seem to tighten themselves up. Um, they're always a pain in the butt to break loose, so I don't think you have to worry about them coming loose. Moving back to the left side of the bike, uh, we're gonna make sure that that surface is a little bit cleaner. <laughs> All right, that looks good. Um, once again, I'm using an OEM oil filter. Uh, when I worked at the shop, we sold a lot of high flows. I don't think there's anything particularly long, wrong with them, but um, I looked at this to make sure that the numbers match up. They do. This one only goes in one way. There's only one hole. The other side is solid, so I need to stick that back in and click it on. I do have an O-ring for this cover as well. So clean up any dirt and debris on the cover and just pop the new O-ring on. And then, uh, so if you see, I already have the bolts screwed back in. This is a, this is a pro tip when you're working on a bike in your driveway or something where you can kick a bolt into no man's land. Just rescrew them all in the original holes and then you can find them. You don't have to worry about putting them in a tray and getting them mixed up. That way you know which bolts go where. Nice positive click into position. And once again, torque them down just just a nice little snug. I mean, obviously, if you got a torque wrench, that's ideal. But you don't need to strip anything out. They just, uh, German torque specs, Austrian torque specs in this. In this case, it's just, uh, good and tight. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys something real quick. This is the, uh, oil screen hole. And basically, inside there, you can collect a whole bunch of shavings. Because this is, this is technically not um, flush here, so stuff doesn't flush out of the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my finger in there. And you can feel the shavings. So... I mean, obviously, there's probably a better way to get those out, but I'm just going to get most of them out with my finger so that that debris just isn't being recycled in the engine. It's all, it, it feels like aluminum, so it's probably a, I don't know, clutch plate material, things like that. Uh, I'm sure it's, it's you know, not, not great, but it is a new bike. That stuff cycles through. Um, I might be more nervous if I hadn't seen tons of that before and, and lots of motocross bikes and stuff, but you can see that there's a, there's a good amount of shavings in there. So getting those cleaned out the best I can right here at this screen hole. And I probably could, uh, you know, flush that out or something. Like I said, there's probably a better way to do it, but. I don't know. Most people probably don't know to clean that out anyway, so um, I'm, I'm doing better than most, I would say. So It seems pretty good in there. I don't feel any obvious obvious stuff, but it's good that the, the screen has captured all that. And we're going to go ahead and put the screen back in, make sure that this uh, surface on the outside is free of dirt and stuff. Once again I have my clean screen and my clean plug. Cleaned all the dirt and things out of the threads and it's 
stick it in just like that and feed it into the hole. You do have to manipulate them a little bit to get them in there because they're, I'm sure they're going on some sort of a nipple on the other side there or into a cavity. Once again, not too tight, just the uh, Austrian Torx specs. It's uh, good and tight. Like I said, they seem to seem to tighten themselves up. Anyway, here I have my nice clean uh, drain plug, and they are magnetic on KTM's. I've always installed mag magnetic drain plugs in all my Japanese bikes too. It's one of the first things I buy. Just helps pull the shavings out of the, out of the uh, engine, and. You saw those metal flakes that uh, I was pulling out from the screen. Another indication that that's not like a blown up transmission gear or something is that the transmission gears are made out of steel and they would be stuck all over this thing. And when I pulled this out, it uh, it really didn't look that bad. It just had some real fine, like, it almost looks like fur growing on there. And those are just a little, little tiny steel shaving. So once again, it just kind of seals that all that, all that metal stuff in there is just, um, um, clutch plates for me abusing the clutch plate maybe maybe parts of the basket and stuff in there too which uh, like I said is totally common I'm used to seeing that so we're gonna screw that back in and once again if you have a torque wrench that's ideal these are 13 millimeter but I just do uh, good and tight and like I said you don't need to, to strip these out and uh, that's it. We've got it all uh, buttoned up. All the new filters installed. The screens are clean and installed. And I've got everything um, just buttoned back up so that uh, no oil is going to drain back out of it. I just wanted to show you the oil that I use. And I may have to do the rest of this video with the sound off because you can hear the weed eater in the background. But I use this KTM uh, 1050 Power Synth 4T. Motorex stuff, and it seems to be good oil. It's, I don't know, maybe $13 a quart. Kind of expensive, but you're riding kind of an expensive motorcycle, so uh, hey, spend your money on the good stuff. When you start the engine, those filters were dry when I put them in. Just start it up and let it idle. Don't rev it up or anything like that. Just so that the, the oil can circulate through the filters and um, you know uh, get the engine lubed. It's it's probably not going to kill it for a few seconds to just uh, <laughs> to to pump the engine with a little bit of oil on the dry filters. But um, anyway, just just don't start it up and rev the bejeebies out of it right off the bat. Everything's easy to find easy to take off, just a few bolts here and there, and uh, it's pretty simple. I didn't show you the taking the skid plate off. It's only two bolts in the front, and then it just slides off. Um, if you can't figure out how to take your skid plate off, you probably shouldn't be changing your oil. So, Anyway, pretty simple. KTM 690 oil change. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, let me know down below if you want to see me work on anything else that's common uh, maintenance stuff, and uh, I'll get that taken care of for you. Like and subscribe if you want, I uh, would appreciate it, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.